Same. What do you want to do tonight? Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. This is Justin from You Are Creators, and I would like to present to you the 50 prosperity secrets. For many people, attracting and attaining prosperity seems to be elusive. They don't understand how and why certain people seem to attract prosperity on every level. I ran across an article written by Randy Gage from randygage.com that resonated with me on every level. The name of the article is 50 Secrets of Prosperity. I was blown away because this is exactly what I learned from the many books that I have digested throughout the years. I know these tips work because most of these ideas are what I personally used to become a millionaire. I don't just use them, but I adapted them and turned them into my personal philosophy. Listen to this audio over and over again until you have memorized and impressed these ideas upon the subconscious mind. Special thanks to Randy Gage for allowing me to use this wonderful article. I have also changed and added some of these ideas to match and magnify what I have learned. The 50 Prosperity Secrets. Remember, listen, memorize, and apply. One, rich people think differently than broke people. One common thread among all wealthy people is their thoughts process. Rich people have dominant thoughts of wealth. Poor people have dominant thoughts of lack. You attract what you think about. Two, healthy people think differently than sick people. If you focus on sickness, you attract more sickness. But if you focus on health, your subconscious mind takes that command as well. Happy people think differently than depressed people. Happy thoughts leads to happy results. Depressed thoughts attracts more depression. Four, you're not poor because you don't have money. You're poor if you don't have a dream. So many people in poverty think about their lack so much that they forget to focus on what they truly want. If you don't dream, you remain stationary. Five, governments do not create prosperity. At best, they facilitate it. Usually, they squander it. If you are waiting for the government to take care of you, you are in a rude awakening. Take back your power and create your own opportunities. Six, money at its very essence is energy, which can be attracted or repelled. All energy attracts similar energy. Thoughts of wealth attract wealth. Thoughts of lack attracts more lack. Seven, with a powerful vision that pulls you towards it, you bend the universe to your will. The universe never says no. It supports any belief system you put into it. What you focus on is what you will draw into your life. Create a vision and make it grand. Eight, when your dream is bold enough, the facts no longer matter. 
Intense desire has the ability to produce miracles. Nothing is off limits to you when you build up enough faith and belief. When a belief becomes energized with emotion, nothing on heaven or on earth can keep it from manifesting. Nine, your past does not have to determine your future, but only when you decide to break the cycle. If we keep doing what we've always done, we'll keep getting what we've always gotten. Replace old subconscious beliefs with new beliefs and new actions, and we will automatically produce brand new results. 10. You can watch five to six hours of television a day, or you can be rich, but you can't be both. A common trait among the rich and wealthy is self-improvement. Instead of investing time watching television, they invest in themselves, thus becoming a person of value. The average millionaire reads at least 30 minutes every single day. Self-improvement never stops. 11. You can be a victim or a victor, but you can't be both. People that carry a victim mentality attract to themselves pity in more situations of victimhood. Victors use negative circumstances as fuel to aid their success. It's impossible to keep a victor down. 12. Poverty is not the absence of money and material things. It is a mindset. Poor people think poor. They feel poor and they take poor actions. Thus, they create habits that perpetuate a poverty lifestyle. 13. Prosperity is not an abundance of money and material things. It is a mindset. Our state of consciousness will always produce our outer situations and circumstances. In order for you to be wealthy, you must first be wealthy in consciousness. The inner always creates the outer. 14. You might think you have a money shortage, but it is only a shortage of ideas. Ideas creates millionaires. Once a person begins to dwell upon an idea, action usually follows. All it takes is for you to have one good idea to become a millionaire. 15. Never let anyone else's limiting belief become yours. People like to impress their limitations upon you. Don't let them. As Les Brown once said, someone else's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. 16. If you want to become wealthy, stop taking financial advice from broke people. Find people that have already been where you want to go. Become a sponge and soak up all the information they have to offer. 17. Your wealth grows exactly at the same rate your prosperity consciousness does. The inner world is directly connected to the outer world. Your subconscious beliefs regarding money has a direct impact on the amount of money that is circulating in your life. What you truly believe about money will be your dominant experience. 18. 
The only free cheese is in the mousetrap. There are no free lunches or shortcuts. What you get in life is a direct correlation to the thoughts you think, the habits you create, and the actions you take. You get in exactly what you put out. 19. Wealth is created by adding value and solving problems. The world is filled with problems just waiting to be solved. If you can find a simple solution to a complex problem, you can become an extremely wealthy person. Find the holes and fill them. 20. You must be willing to let go of who you have been to become who you are meant to be. We are creatures of habit. If we dwell on the habits of mediocrity, we have no choice but to stay mediocre. But if we create brand new habits of mind, we will literally become a brand new person. We have been the caterpillar. Now it's time to be the butterfly. 21. Prosperity is your birthright and natural condition. At our core, we are pieces of the infinite. We are parts of the source. We know no lack. We only know abundance and prosperity and plentitude. At a deep subconscious level, we all recognize this. This is why it feels great when we have plenty and it feels horrible when we are in lack. That's because the condition of lack is actually foreign to us. 22. The universe can only do for you what it can do through you. You are the captain of your ship. This world is created through the minds of humans acting on inspiration. It is true. The universe only helps those that help themselves. This is your canvas. And the universe will supply the paint and the paintbrush. 23. Gossiping about others creates a negative prosperity debt. What we say about others will eventually be said about us. Not only that, we will attract into our lives similar situations that matches the energy we put out regarding other people. Life is a game of boomerangs. What we throw out always comes back to us. Number 24. You must be willing to give up some things you want to get the things you really want. Like they say, grind now and play later. Number 25. If you don't invest in yourself, it's probably a pretty bad investment for anyone else. Your goal should be to become a person of value. Every year, you should be attending seminars and programs that will help you improve your bottom line. Self-education never stops. We never stop improving. Number 26. Turn your car into a mobile library. Instead of listening to the radio aimlessly while commuting in traffic, start listening to affirmations and audiobooks. Use that precious time to recondition your subconscious mind and to reinforce brand new ideas of success, wealth, and abundance. You can download the Law of Attraction Library app completely free 
which contains over nine free audiobooks for your listening pleasure. Or if you have a library card, go to hoopla.com, fill out the registration using your library card, and you get over 12 free audiobooks every single month. Hoopla is spelled H O O P L A. Hoopla.com. Number 27. Only acknowledge your limitations for the purpose of overcoming them. The only time you should be talking about the things you can't do is when you are shining the light on self improvement. 28. To become bold, surround yourself with bold people. All energy is contagious. If you want to be great, you must hang amongst the greats. 29. Money doesn't buy happiness, but neither does poverty. Money is simply a tool for freedom. It should be kept in its proper place. And poverty should not be honored. It is not commendable or virtuous. It is a mental disease that should be eradicated. Money doesn't buy happiness, but to be honest with you, I would rather cry in a Mercedes than on a bicycle. Number 30. Bills are simply invoices for blessings you've already received. Treat them accordingly. Each time you pay your bills, pay them joyously and graciously, giving thanks for the service provided. In turn, you will attract more things to be grateful for. 31. Surround yourself with people who dream bigger than you. Again, all energy is contagious. If you are surrounded by dreamers and visionaries, you are more likely to adopt those same philosophies. 32. You can't outgive the universe. The greatest teacher once said, give and it will be given unto you. What we give is usually given back to us multiplied. Be a easy giver and you'll become a easy receiver. 33. The best thing you can do for the poor and hungry is to not be one of them. When you are extremely poor, you can't help others because you can barely help yourself. Become wealthy, spread your resources, share your resources, and watch how other people prosper because of it. 34. When you get negative people out of your life, negative things happen a lot less frequently. Negative people have a way of sucking the life out of you. Dreams, visions, and goals have a funny way of disappearing while around such people. You'll be amazed how positive life becomes once you begin to associate with positive people. 35. Vengeance must walk out before love can walk in. Like Buddha said, holding onto anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone else. You are the one that gets burned. Number 36. The universe won't give you your next assignment until you're overqualified for the current one. Life is about experiences, lessons, progression, and advancement. You can't go to the next level of your spiritual evolution without completing this one first. 37. Let go of the need to be liked. 
Successful people threaten mediocrity. Society teaches us to fit in, but it is extremely hard to fit in while being extraordinary. When you begin to really shine, you will notice that others will become intimidated by your light. So shine brighter. Number 38. Haters don't hate you. They hate themselves because they don't have the guts to do what you're doing. Just like Aubrey said, jealousy is just love and hate at the same time. Number 39. It is better to be overconfident than underconfident. Your confidence level speaks more volumes than the words you use. Number 40. Changing locations can also change your bank account. Every location has its own energetic frequency. If you want to be wealthy, you must go where the wealthy are. 41. Build your own dream instead of borrowing the dreams of others. If you do not work on your dreams, you will be hired to work for someone else's. 42. Build a dream so compelling it pulls you towards it. What does your ideal life look like? Write it down. Write it down on a sheet of paper in crystal clear details. And then every day, live in your imagination as if it was already a reality. You will begin to attract and draw into your life the situations and circumstances that will create that dream as a physical reality. Number 43. Your dream needs to be as big as you are. And that's really big. Small dreams do not get the juices flowing. Big dreams have the ability to get you excited and to keep you excited. Go big or go home. Number 44. If you're not scared, you need a bigger goal. Your goals should excite you. You should have butterflies every time you think about them. You're here to do great things. Number 45. When you make your dreams bigger, it makes you bigger. The funny thing is, once you have a big goal, it almost forces you to become a bigger person. It definitely grows you. Number 46. If you find yourself starting over too much, stop giving up so easily. We're supposed to have challenges. And the purpose of challenges is to overcome challenges and grow because of it. If you quit every time you're faced with an obstacle, you're missing out on growth. Number 47. To unleash your power, start believing in your power. What you believe, you make true. If you believe you're powerful, you will attract more circumstances that proves you right. Number 48. If your dream isn't outrageous, you're just not being realistic. Just like Will Smith said, being realistic it's the most common road to mediocrity. Delusion is a common trait among the mega successful. Sometimes you have to be delusional. Number 49. Treat the people you meet today as if they will be gone tomorrow. And last but not least, number 50. Make sure you die with more memories than dreams. Dreams are wonderful, but nothing ever happens or is completed without action. 
Special thanks to Randy Gage for this brilliant article. Check out some of his wonderful material at randygage.com. Also, check out his YouTube channel, Prosperity TV. If you haven't already, download my free app, The Law of Attraction Library. We have over nine free audiobooks for your listening and educational pleasure. Please leave a positive review. It will be greatly appreciated. Also, be on the lookout for my brand new online course entitled Money Manifesting Mastery, where I teach you how to build a successful prosperity consciousness and a step-by-step process on how to earn and receive passive and residual income. This is Justin from You Are Creators, and we support your dreams.